more than 13,000 coronavirus cases in Harris County, but there's some important data missing on 4,000 of those cases. Tonight, Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold shows you what is missing and how it might impact the response in your neighborhood. I'm very, very concerned. Preston Middleton is a fixture in the entertainment industry and a longtime Houston community activist. As you've heard, he's worried. This is over with. It's on to the next story. He's concerned many in the community don't feel the need to be cautious anymore. They may not know someone that got sick or know someone that died. They aren't taking it seriously. To better understand the spread of COVID-19, the city and county continue to push for testing. It's absolutely crucial that we get that we get, that we get good data. That's because data can pinpoint hotspots, identify vulnerable segments of the population, and help municipalities direct resources. But getting a complete picture is tough when some of that data is missing. Why so many unknown? We put that question to Houston Health Authority, Dr. David Peirce. Historically, the most of that information came from the doctor's offices. We're talking about race and ethnicity of those testing positive for COVID-19. When you look at Houston and Harris County's breakdown, nearly 4,000 cases, 30% show race or ethnicity is unknown. Peirce says some of this comes from how data is collected at different testing sites. It's not consistent from one testing site to the other. And then in many cases, what we're getting from the labs is as little as a name and a phone number. Without files in a doctor's or clinic's office to fall back on, city officials try to follow up with phone calls. And what we're finding is, and not, again, not surprisingly, is if people are getting a phone call from a number that they don't recognize, they're not answering the phone. According to city and county data, 16% of those testing positive are white, 19% are African-American, 30% Latino, and roughly 3% are Asian. Even with incomplete data, researchers say there are some early indicators as to why some communities are hit harder. You can't stop working. Uh, if not, you don't get a salary. Dr. Layla Walk Colburn is with Baylor College of Medicine. She says some people in minority, lower income communities are more susceptible because they can't afford to miss work, have to rely on mass transit, and can't self-quarantine. They don't have the luxury to go and rent an apartment and have one one, one room for themselves. Purse says a factor in severity can be whether a person has access to quality health care or even basic nutrition. Purse says this virus is very good at exploiting chronic illness. This virus seems to take advantage of both diabetes and hypertension, and also the other one is obesity. When it comes to COVID-related fatalities in the city, 34% are African-American, 31% are Hispanic, 27% white, and 5% Asian. In Harris County, though, the breakdown is different. 34% white, 29% Hispanic, 27% African-American, and 7% Asian. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 Investigate.